in our previous session we have displayed all payments and also we have seen how to display the entire orders okay here when i click on all orders all the orders will be displayed when i click on all payments for whichever order the payment is done that data will be displayed now in this we are going to work with list users when i click on this list users whichever user is logged in or whichever user is using this website that data should be displayed to admin in the same way how we have done for listing payments and listing orders we are just going to do for list users i'll come to index.php and here i am having all okay list users i'm just going to write here index.php question mark i'll just write here list users i'll just copy this get variable and here below this let me just paste that one i'll copy this if and below this i'm just going to paste now i'll copy this one i'll cut from here whenever this get variable is active then i have to include this file i'll just do control b inside admin area i'm just going to create that file and create that file i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one now whenever i click on this list users you can see list user.php active and here i'm not having any data let me just write here uh, doll i'll save i'll refresh this one okay you can see here i'm not getting that doll let me just check for that here i'm having list users.php and inside index.php if is set this is active okay here you can see here i have given dot php i just have to remove that one i'll come here and from here i'm just going to remove this i'll save i'll refresh list users here i'm having list users and here i'm having doll okay now it is working completely fine i'll remove this one i'll come to list payments i'm just going to copy the entire same thing and here i'm just going to paste and instead of this all payments i'm just going to write all users i'll save this now i'll just refresh this one here i'm having all users and same data whatever i'm having inside payments that is been displayed because i have given the same table name now i'm just going to change the table name before that let me just come inside this user table we are having all this data we are having all the user data so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select from user table then no users no users at then instead of this okay we are having serial number then i'll just display i'll come to list users i have to display username user email i'll just remove this one i'll be writing username user email image address okay for this image is not getting displayed but in my project i'm just going to display the image user image user address user image then here i'll be writing user address after that i'm having user mobile and then delete user mobile i'll save and then finally delete i'll come here now i'll refresh this one okay here you can see here i'm having all this error because here i have fetched the data from the payments table okay that is the reason i'm getting the error but you can see all the headings you can see serial number username email image address okay everything is changed now i'm just going to change this one as well now from here i just have to fetch the user id i'll come here and inside this i'm having user id so here i'll be writing user id i'll copy this one okay this user id will be important when you want to delete the user then username user email and let me just write here user name after that we are having user email then user image
after that user image we are having user address and user mobile user address then user mobile and copy and paste then finally i don't need this date i just have to display that one now in place of this invoice number i'll just display username then i'll be displaying user email user image let this i'll just remove this one i'll be writing here image tag src src i'll be writing it later now here i'll be writing alt and inside this alt i'm just going to display the username i'll just copy this one and inside this alt i'm just going to display that one and here inside src now i am inside admin area users image are present inside this users area so first i'll just come out of this one i'll come inside users area users area and inside this users area i'm having user images user images folder user images folder and inside that i am having this name i'll copy and here i'm just going to paste okay this is how we are going to pass the path then we are having user address then finally we are having user mobile i'll copy and here i'm just going to paste okay rest everything is same only thing is you just have to modify whatever requirement and whichever you feel comfortable whichever data you want to display that data you can just modify here now i'll come here i'll just check for the output i'll refresh this one okay now here i am having this output uh, the data of user is been displayed but here you can see the image is not getting displayed i'll just inspect this one now let me just inspect this image here i am having users area okay here i have given of the users i have given one slash you can see whenever i hover on this i'm getting the full path users area okay i should just remove that slash i'll come here and here i'll just remove this one instead of that i just have to give here users area i'll come now i'll refresh this one now you can see the image is been displayed now for this image i'm just going to give some stylings inside index.php i'll just come on top for this you can see i have already given this one now what i'm going to do i'll just copy the same class okay if you want you can give the different class as well okay let me just check now for this image tag let me just add the class there i'll be writing class and inside this i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now you can see the image size is been reduced okay this is how we can display the user if you want the data should come in the middle then also you can give text center and all the data will come in the middle okay this is how we are going to display all the data we are having all orders we are having all payments list users insert products you can see when i click on this insert products i can insert the products i can view all the products here you can see all the products i can view and here i am having okay you can see this capsicum is sold total one items and dairy milk is sold twice so here i am having all that numbers when i click on edit i can edit the products you can see all the products will be displayed and i can edit that one and also i can delete this products i can insert the categories i can view categories and i can edit and delete categories i can view brands i can edit and delete brands okay when i click on edit you can see that swiggy will be present here then all orders all payments and list uses okay everything is working fine now let me just come to home page home page and i'm just going to register one more user i'll log out from kanam i'll register using one more user let me just write here sanya email i'll write here sanya at gmail.com choose file i'll select this um, this file password 1234 and let me just write here bangalore and contact number 2323233 register i have registered using one user i'll just click on login i'll be writing here sanya password 1234 login login successful okay now i am redirected to sanya's profile sanya is not having any orders so you can see you have zero pending orders and when i click on my orders here i'll be having this data okay if you want you can just remove this one and you can display in the same way okay this if you want to do how we have done for user orders 
how we have done for listing users and listing payments in the same way you can just perform that one as well you can just give if that count is greater than zero only then you have to display that one or else you should display no orders yet pending orders we are not having anything okay you can see you have zero pending orders now i'll come to admin dashboard now i'll just refresh this one you can see admin can see both the users okay now totally two users i'm having inside this website so admin can see two users admin can see all the payments admin can see all the orders okay everything admin can see okay now we are done with this admin session i'll just come to admin area you can see we are having this admin login session okay we are just going to work on this one and we are having this register also admin can register okay if you want to give admin privileges to them you can just give your password if that password is getting matched, only that person will be having admin privileges. Okay, you can do all that stuff. Okay, this is the admin registration and this is the admin login. We'll be working on this and we are going to create the simple admin and we are going to create the simple registration session. Okay, we are done with this today's session. Next, we will be starting with admin login and admin registration session.